Hey, it's Tom from Tom's Tunes. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to splice together a couple wires from accessories like lights to power wires, maybe from your switch panel. What we're gonna be doing in this video is taking a power and a ground wire, a red and a black wire from these LEDs. I have that right here. Red, in this case, is my power, the black, a little bit of red with it just from pulling them apart that is my ground wire i have a pontoonstuff.com switch panel here and there's an extra accessory wire coming out there's a couple of them that are going to supply power to accessories this happens to be an orange being the power coming out of the switch and the black is going to be the ground i'm going to need some wire stripping and splicing tools this happens to be a Klein brand, very handy tool to have if you're redoing electrical on your boat. And what I'm gonna do, this is 16 gauge wire. I'm gonna place it in the 16 gauge section of my stripping tool. I pinch down and then I just pull out and you can see I get the outer sheathing off and I'm left with an exposed tinned wire that I'm gonna use to splice. I'm gonna do the same thing to that orange wire So I now have exposed a power and a ground, and I'm gonna use a heat shrink butt splice. We're gonna slide that over top of the stranded wire. It helps sometimes to twist it together just to make sure that it's nice and tidy. And then I can slide that on. And what I'm doing is I'm sliding this exposed wire into the center of this tinned splice so what I have is a plastic sheathing on the outside and that's gonna shrink down with heat to seal everything up from moisture. I take my splicing tool and this end is anywhere from 14 to 26 gauge. I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze hard on that. And I like to slide it up and give it another squeeze to make sure you can give it a little tug, make sure it's not gonna come off. I'm gonna do the same thing with another butt splice with my ground wire. If you watch when I insert this, you'll see that wire exposed going into the inside of the splice and the sheathing hits the inside of the splice here. And that's what's gonna help me to make sure I get enough wire crimped in there. I've now got butt splices on my ends from my switch panel, my power and my ground. I'm gonna take my power and my ground wire from my lights and I'm gonna strip the end off just like I did for my switch wires. I understand that wiring a boat can be scary if you've never done it before. If you remember that all of our direct current or 12 volt DC accessories like lights, your stereo, all of those things on a boat, they all need a power supply from the battery, this red and orange wire, those are powers, and a ground supply. So the black wires are normally gonna indicate ground. I'm gonna splice that together, the red and the orange. And now I'm gonna take my ground wire, that splice, and I'm gonna insert the ground from the light into that opposite end. This is the proper way to join two wires on a boat. Using a twist on wire nut like you'd use in your house is not the correct way to do it. Those are not made to withstand the vibration and the moisture that's gonna happen on a boat. The whole point of these with the heat shrinking is that I can now use heat and it will shrink this up. There's a glue inside of there that's gonna help seal it from the elements. The safest way to do it is with a heat gun. And keeping the heat on the splice and not on the wire the best I can, I've shrunk this down and sealed it up. 
so that water and moisture can't get in there and cause corrosion. You've probably seen me before in other videos and you'll see other folks use a lighter as well. It's a little faster. I keep the flame only on the splice and I keep it in the blue part of the flame so it doesn't char. A little bit faster, but let's face it, the safest way to do it is with a heat gun. What I've done is I've connected my power and my ground coming from the switch panel to the power in the ground that are gonna supply power to the lights. With that connected, when I flip my switch, my lights turn on. I've got power coming from the battery and a ground coming from the battery through my accessory harness from pontoonstuff.com. It's coming up through the floor around supplying power to my switch panel so that I can supply that power out to my accessories. I hope this helps simplify how to connect wires on your boat. Please comment below if you have questions. Thanks for watching.